Well, we're here at the boat. Um, we're not uh, doing a regular video for a few reasons. One is the weather hasn't been good, very, very good lately. But the main reason is what we all know is happening in the Ukraine right now with the Russian invasion. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to start, uh, we'll, we'll start off with the intro like we always do. But this time, I know we usually fast forward through it, but pay attention to the intro that we've had for all this years, uh, all this time uh, uh, on the YouTube channel and uh, read what, what we wrote on the intro and you'll see. Watch the intro. Well, we're here at the boat, getting ready to do what we've always been getting ready to do, but now it looks like the time is drawing very near. Um, as we know, uh, it looks like Belarus is now joining in the fight against Ukraine with Russia. Um, the, uh, some heartwarming things are going on around the world, like even here in Israel. There's um, Russians and Ukrainians together are protesting in front of the Russian embassy uh, against uh, the aggression of the Russian, um, you know, regime. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's, uh, so it's heartwarming to see. Uh, we've put out a few newsletters lately, uh, two of them to be exact, about exactly this. We're here getting the boat ready for just in case we have to uh, do something and uh, go help the Jews in the, in the Ukraine and bring them home. Right now, as of now, they're able to, uh, to uh, get out through the west you know, head out west uh, of Ukraine and to the Polish uh, um, border and, and find refuge there and then fly home or whatever. Yeah. Romania also. Or in Romania as well. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, what we're getting ready for is in the, in the case, most likely case that Russia wins this, because it's, I mean, I say good for the Ukraine. They've been able to hold them off now for five days. But... Uh, yeah. Who knows how long they can handle it, you know, and plus Belarus now is adding in uh, their forces to attack on the Ukraine to help Russia. So uh, most likely Russia is going to win. And this, we're getting ready for the possi high possibility that Russia takes over the Ukraine and closes the borders and stops the people from being able to leave. Uh, and when that happens, only God knows what the, what the Russian regime is going to be like in the Ukraine at that time. Obviously, because of the civilians fighting against the Russian troops, yeah, I'm, sure, I'm sure Putin is not going to be very nice to them. Yeah. Uh, and we know the way the Russians feel about the Jews. So it's very highly possible that the Jews, the, 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 the Ukrainian people, and, and especially the Jews in Ukraine, yeah. will be persecuted and have really tough times trying to figure out how to survive. So that's exactly what we're getting ready for. We've had things put in place. I, we've got people in the government here in Israel who know about our mission and then and, and uh, is going to be able to uh, to uh, help with the people when they get here. Uh, we know about um, the the ways to get there, and we, we've got all that worked out. So right now we're working out all the the details with the boat. Make sure the boat's ready to go. We need to fuel up the tanks. We need to get lots of food. We've got a few other boats that we need to get uh, people involved. Other people who are helping, and uh, we have to do the same thing with their boats. Uh, this is a this is a big task going across. Yeah. Yeah, you know, going across to uh, to uh, the Ukraine uh, on a boat. A one-way trip is if you do a non-stop trip, which is most boats can't do that. Most boats, pleasure boats nowadays, they're, uh, they're they have to stop and re mm -hmm. re re refurbish fuel, water, and food on the way. Uh, but but without stops, it's a one-week trip. One-week trip there and a one-week trip trip back. About a week you could get it done. Yeah. So, uh, so if uh, this is something we have to do, we need to get everything ready now because when we go, it's still going to be a week till we get there with, with uh, communications with the people on, while we're on the, on the way. It's all very uh, logistically complicated, but, uh, but possible, and we will do it. So that's what we're here for. We're getting everything ready. Yeah. Uh, you're going to go with us? No. 
<laughs> <laughs> yes, I won. No, but there's no way. First, we need a place for the people, and also uh, it's the, I'll stay with the kids. The, and also, it's, it won't be very safe. You know, it could be dangerous. There's I no know. reason. Yes, I but know. we believe God for for that. He'll He'll do the protecting of that. That's for sure. We have faith in that 100. percent Be careful. You know, I'm waiting here, and if you if you not be careful, I'm gonna do something when you come back. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> While we were driving here, I was thinking about all these cars around, and we're just driving. It's a regular day for us. And they just lost their homes. I think it's about 7 million people already left their houses wow. and homes. Yeah. And, ref and they just in one second, they became refugees. Uh -huh. So all their lives are changed in and, because yeah. of Putin decided going with this absolutely. war. So, yeah, it's um, just, you know, thoughts I had when I was driving here. Absolutely. They definitely need help right now. And prayers. We all need to be praying for them. Another way you can help is out is uh, like and share these videos, especially this video. Get, it, get this message out. You know, I, obviously, as usual, we're not doing our regular um, tours of Israel, but, uh, but this is very important. And uh, we need to get this message out. And that way we can help as many people as possible. There's a lot of misinformation in the world. I, I know uh, America and Israel, they're pretty informed. But I know in Russia and Ukraine, there's a lot of misinformation. Yes. And it's, it's amazing how all the channels, I made a video about it because it's so strange. All the channels, CNN and Fox and Sky News and all the channels and Israel channels, they're reporting about this war, but then you put on the, the, Russian, the, the channel. Russian channel in Israel, all, as I heard also Russian channels in and Russia, Russia, nothing. They're they watch just regular TV shows. Movies, yeah, and uh, TV shows. That's part of the brainwashing thing that's going on. You know, you can, when, you, when you're putting out lies, you can't make up lies 24-7. Exactly. So you got to make a story that you're, yeah. you want what, what people to believe, put it out there, and then make them think of something else because you... It's hard yeah. to keep lying all the time. Yeah, and in a lot of ways, social media is a bad thing. But in this case, social media is actually it's getting out some real information. Yes, yes, Absolutely. because a real the truth is going out uh, through the That's social very, media. Very, very important and very good point you made. Yeah. It's very true. That goes to it, it's just a testament to the brainwashing tactics of uh, of the of, of Eastern Europe of Putin and, and mainly. Well, this isn't a. TGR news segment, even though it seems like it is because we're talking about a lot of this uh, newsworthy uh, information. It's just this, this video is about us getting ready to take the boat to go save the Ukrainian Jews over there. Well, like I said, this, is gonna, this was going to be a short video because we don't have a lot of time. We've got all this stuff we have to do. I just wanted to get this out to you guys. If you haven't read the newsletters, go to thegoldenreport.com and you can read those newsletters. And, uh, and when we leave, when we head out for this mission, we'll be going under fire jets and bombs and missiles and everything else, I'm sure. But, uh, but we believe in, uh, in God. We have faith that everything will work out. So, uh, so help us with this mission and uh, join us on thegoldenreport.com. God bless. Bye-bye.